before Disney acquired Lucasfilm, many have speculated if there was going to be an Indiana Jones 5 or not. Those who believe we will get an Indy 5 movie with Harrison Ford once again donning the brown fedora hat have just been given a giant justification for their belief. In a recent interview with Yahoo Movies, Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks were doing a Q&A for their new film, Bridge of Spies, when Spielberg said the following. We've got to figure this out because now Tom is tied with Harrison Ford. Harrison and I did four movies. Tom and I have done four movies. Now I'll probably do an Indy 5 with Harrison. It'll be five for Harrison, four for Tom. Then I've got to make another one with Tom. So that will be five for Tom, five for Harrison. And I think I'm going to leapfrog that way for the rest of my career with Daniel Day-Lewis and everything else. (laughs) John, do these comments sway your belief that an Indiana Jones 5 will actually happen? First of all, you know you are, and forgive my language for a second, you know you are the shit in Hollywood. You can talk about... Yeah, I'll do all these with Harris Ford, and then I'll do all these Tom Hanks, and then I'll have Daniel Day Lewis and everything. That's when you know you are the man, <laughs> is when you're Steven Spielberg and you say stuff like this. Look, I've been saying for a while, I'm very dubious of another Indiana Jones film happening, especially with Harrison Ford, um, just at, at his age to pull it off. Now, I, I love Harrison Ford. I think he's great. I'll see anything that he's in. Um, but, you know, I don't want, I've said before, an Indiana Jones movie set in the early 70s. I don't want, you know, I like the Nazi era Indiana Jones stories. Plus, I, you know, I just never thought it would happen. That being said, I didn't just read these comments from Spielberg. I found the video footage and I went and watched him saying this. And it sounded very matter of fact to me. Like we were wondering, you know, in our pre-production, he's like, do you think maybe, you know, Spielberg said that kind of sarcastic that I'll probably have to do another Indiana Jones with Harrison Ford? No, it sounded very matter of fact. And I got to say, if I thought before that there was maybe a 20% chance of, you know, Harrison Ford and Steven Spielberg doing another Indiana Jones film, I got to tell you, this one comment from Spielberg has shifted me maybe like all the way to 65% now that I think. So it for me, it's moved my opinion on this massively. So let's see how this turns out. Christian, you read the comments. Has it swayed your thoughts on this? Um, not necessarily swayed because I still think uh, my, my perfect idea for an Indiana Jones 5 movie is to have Han, Han Solo, is to have, Harrison <laughs> Ford, is to have Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, but in flashback scenes, introduce whoever the new actor is going to be, whether it's Chris Pratt or whoever it's going to be, because then you will, you'll associate the actor in flashback form to when they finally do a new Indiana Jones. It's not foreign to us. It's like, oh, they did that with the blessing. The only reason why I think, I actually think it's 95% is why I think it's going to happen. Because I think, as much as Steven Spielberg, George Lucas is one of his best friends and has nothing but the utmost respect for him, I think that Spielberg wants to do a movie without George Lucas, uh, an Indiana Jones movie. I think that Indiana Jones, there was a Frank Darabont script going around for for the fourth one, and that was scrapped because Lucas didn't like it. I think that Lucas had such a hold on it for so long. Spielberg and Ford did like it. Very much so. And I think that 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 was one of the, the rumors was the reason that Harrison Ford signed on to Force Awakens is because he wanted to do another Indiana Jones movie. I think they all know that they weren't happy with the fourth one. So I think this is going to happen. I wouldn't be surprised if, if we get an announcement in the next year or so. Schnapp. Yeah, that picture of them is definitely not them watching the Crystal Skull. <laughs> no. Because, like, yeah. Cause, yeah, they're, they're watching not, Raiders. Yeah, they're watching. Hey, remember the old thing? So I completely agree with you. I think it, it would work great with him bookending it. In fact, they did that in the television show. If you go on YouTube, you could see it never aired, but they shot Harrison Ford in this sequence That's right. yeah. that bookends the young Indiana Jones. Oh, they did it with River Phoenix, too. Yeah, but yes, I'm they just did. saying they right. actually did, yeah, they did it already, so it's it does work. And uh, I, they just have to get make sure they give him that little scar, you know, whoever the actor is going to be. I think it'd be a great idea. I'd love to see an Indy Five, if anything, just to wash away the horrible taste of the Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull or Spider, whatever it was called. Like, I don't even. It doesn't even Crystal count. Spider. There's only three of them. I don't. That fourth one is just a weird aberration. So I'd love to see a fifth one that can launch a new series. Here's the thing with me with uh, Crystal Skull. I walked out. I remember walking out of that, and I, I remember thinking this movie is not worthy of the Indiana Jones right. name. But I'll say this. I, I watched it a couple of times. I remember thinking, you know what? If this movie was called Adventure Bob and the Trek for the Alien Artifact, and it wasn't Indiana Jones, and it was just some character named Adventure Bob, I, I might have walked out of that movie going, hey, not a bad little, right. little, little adventure film, but it's not, it wasn't worthy of the Indiana Jones name nope. uh, you know, at all. Here's the one thing. Let me ask you guys if you think this will be a problem. Because I had the same thought about this with Han Solo. With the young Indiana Jones stuff, or in Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, 
when they went back to River Phoenix. We were looking at Indiana Jones in those flashbacks at a younger Indiana Jones than we had ever seen before. What we're talking about now, the possibility of Harrison Ford being in his present day and then flashing back to, say, Chris Pratt as younger Indiana Jones. Now we're flashing back to scenes of Indiana Jones at an age we have seen before. Right. And that doesn't look like Harrison Ford anymore. Do you think that could be an issue, or do you think it really won't be a problem at all? I mean, it's of course it's it's a concern, because but you have to do it. Because if you want mm -hmm. if you want to further the franchise, if that's what you want to, if you want to do, then right. if you're going to put someone at that age, because it's, the Disney's all about franchise, the movie business is about franchise. You want to hope that you can get, let's say it's Chris Pratt, three, four movies out of him as Indiana Jones. So it's absolutely a concern because, well, that's not the Harrison Ford. That's not Harrison Ford. But then if Chris Pratt knocks out of the park or if it's a Bradley Cooper or someone along those lines, whoever does it and convinces us that they can be the Indiana Jones that we know, no, why not? Schnapp, do you think it would be a problem? Do you think it won't be an issue at all? I don't think it'll be an issue. I think, you know, with a little, like, remember they did that with uh, Looper. They did a little modification uh, to Gordon uh, Lu uh, Levitt. Levitt, he thank you. Nose, um, right? To do the nose. And the if they did, even if they just added that little scar that Harrison Ford has, just anything like that, just that alone. I mean, remember, Ewan McGregor doesn't look anything like Alec Guinness, like nothing like Alec Guinness. Yet he did a good job as, like, we're not seeing them side by side in the same movie. But technically, that is the, supposed to be the same character. So I don't think it'll be that much of an issue. 